Hi students, in today's session what I am going to tell you is why KMnO4 is a strong oxidizing agent in acidic medium. Okay, this question would have been, uh, you would have thought about this question, uh, why this happens. Uh, basically KMnO4 is a strong reducing agent in all the medium. Uh, but especially in acidic medium it is more stronger and you would have come across this equations, right. So KMnO4, uh, uh, manganese in KMnO4 it is in plus 7 oxidation state so in acidic medium after gaining okay after gaining 5 electrons it converts to Mn2 plus ion in neutral medium what happens the Mn plus 7 ion gains only 3 electrons okay 3 electrons and gets converted get reduced to Mn plus 4 and in basic medium it gains only 1 electron okay and get reduced to plus 6 oxidation state so what makes the difference why this have why this is happening okay so why 5 electrons in acidic medium why 3 only 3 electrons in neutral medium and only, uh, only uh, why only a single electron in basic medium and uh, commonly only KMnO4 is reacting in all the medium right so this would I you would have thought so I am just going to give a logical explanation for this Okay, just a logical explanation. So in acidic medium, before that, what you have to know about the acidic medium is basically it is an electron deficient medium. Okay, electron, we, we are not supplying other than the uh, oxidant, there is no source of electrons. It is an electron deficient medium and we need to know about this. See, it is an electron deficient medium and what about the pH? The pH will be very low right and what about the hydrogen ion concentration it is very high okay so this is the thing in acidic medium so imagine your manganese it is already in its highest oxidation state manganese it needs an highest oxidation state maximum oxidation state it is now surrounded by what it is now surrounded by the protons in all direction in the acidic medium okay you can very well relate this situation Okay, imagine that you are very thirsty. Okay, you are very thirsty and that too in a desert region. Okay, imagine yourself. Is the uh, surrounding favoring your thirstiness? Can you, can you hold your thirstiness for a long time? No, what you will do, you will immediately look for water. You will rush towards water. And whenever you drink, if you get water also, you will drink more water. Isn't it? So that's what happens here. So the Mn plus 7, which in its highest oxidation state, it is not surrounded by a supporting medium. So what happens? It will, okay, it will look for electrons. Where it will get electrons? From the oxidant. Okay, from the oxidant. Oxidant can be anything that is going to undergo oxidation. Okay, it will gain soon after it meets oxidant. It will, okay, remove 5 electrons. It will remove 5 electrons and it will turn to Mn plus 2 to quench his thirstiness. Okay, now if I write the proper equation, proper balanced equation, the equation is like this. See, Mn O4, this is KMnO4, no. So it consumes 8 H plus ions and 5 electrons, okay, to convert to Mn plus 2 and you will get 4 H2O, okay. So the electrons are from what? Oxidants and H plus ions is from the medium, okay. This is from medium and uh, this is from what? This is from the oxidant, the only source of electron. The oxidants are nothing but which is undergoing oxidation, okay. So it requires a higher hydrogen ion concentration okay you see for this reaction to happen so why it is considered a strong oxidizing agent why we are calling this because five electrons are gained five electrons are gained okay by a single okay by a single mn plus 7 ion that is why it is considered strong per mn plus ion 5 electrons are gained okay so uh, this is how the ac uh, acidic medium works what is the driving force the electron deficient medium okay so you can very well you can very well 
relate to this situation so when coming to the basic medium the same situation the same situation consider that you are thirsty that you are thirsty in a rainy season it is raining heavily outside okay you can hold on your thirstiness for a little bit longer no you will not look for water no urge water you will not rush towards water okay you can hold your thirstiness okay that is what the medium okay you can very well relate with relate uh, to this and whenever you get water also you will drink a small amount not like in the acidic medium not like in the desert region okay so here what happens your m and plus 7 in this medium it is surrounded by it is surrounded by in basic medium which ion concentration will be high the oh ion concentration will be very high okay it is surrounded by oh minus see it is in the maximum oxidation state and the medium is somewhat supporting no so what happens what reaction it gave it 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 takes only one electron and it is converting into mn plus 6 if i write the proper equation oh so what happens so mn o4 minus okay plus uh, this is single electron mn o4 2 minus okay so here in neutral medium what happens there is no excess of h plus ions neither the oh minus ions are excess so what reaction takes place is MnO4 minus plus uh, 4H plus plus 3 electrons gives MnO2 plus 2H2O. So here MnO2 is in plus 4 oxidation state. Okay. So for this reaction to happen, you it consumes only 4 electrons, 4, uh, 4 H plus 4 protons. Okay. So uh, this is my logical uh, reasoning. So the common, I can give you some examples of the KMnO4 in acidic medium. So what are the species? See if any I minus will get converted to I2 okay your oxalate okay these are the thing you have to remember some some more specific no some special uh, uh, reactions they themselves give the product so you don't need to worry about that okay so what happens so fe2 plus will be will get convert to fe3 plus okay your hydrogen peroxide will convert to oxygen then your h2s will convert to sulfur okay so your uh, these are the basic uh, examples that's all okay so uh, th these are the basic examples that i have given so for the rest of the things they themselves will give you the product okay then um, so the kmno4 the order of the increasing oxidizing uh, power yes the kmno4 will give its maximum oxidizing power in acidic medium followed by the neutral medium and then comes your basic medium okay this is the order okay then one more question related to this topic what is that what they will ask is what is the equivalent weight of kmno4 in acidic basic and neutral medium this is a, a very well known question that have been asked frequently okay so we all know that equivalent mass okay is equal to what molecular mass divided by valence factor so you know for valence factor how many electrons are involved in the reaction for uh, oxidation or reduction reactions so for the acidic medium it is what the molecular what is the molecular weight of uh, kmno4 it is some 158.31 i guess 158.31 uh, in acidic medium how many electrons are involved it is 5 electrons so it is divided by 5 okay so in basic medium this is 150 divided divided by 1 and in the neutral medium in the neutral medium it is 158 divided by 3 so what you will get so here it is some 31 roughly 31.6 okay so here it is same 158.3 and here it is divided by 3 so 52.7 okay so uh, this is the question that they will ask okay related to this topic so hope you all uh, enjoyed the video you watched it okay thank you